In the 5G era, what will happen is that I will be able to book an appointment with a doctor that resides, let's say, in New York, and I will be in a hospital, let's say, Brashov, and I can have the operation remotely done. Today, if we have an incident and Salvamon needs to respond, we usually uh, get drones to fly, scan an area, and start producing pictures of that area to triangulate, basically, the location of a, of a person in need. The speed by which the activity can happen in a 5G era is at least 10 times as fast. If you look at any forecast from any market, from any country in the world, it shows that 5G has the potential to amplify the economic output of any country. We're talking about 5 billion potential in Romania. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of new jobs that can be created. So, bună ziua, Brasov. I hope you've had a good session so far. I am very envious of some of my the, the speakers that spoke before me, so I'll, I'll try to keep you excited and awake. Hopefully, you'll give me the feedback by the end of my speech. So, I'm here to talk about change, transformation, and the future. Uh, I have to say I've been working for this industry for 13 years. It's my lucky 13th year at Vodafone. Uh, it's never been as exciting as it is. The reason why is called 5G. So as a business, historically, Vodafone has gone through many, many changes. So we've gone from a mobile-only uh, company to a converged operator, and we are broadening out now the range of products and, and, and services that we have into the technology ecosystem, the broader technology ecosystems. And there are, there are some things that you know about us, uh, such as the fact that we're you know, a global company, 21 markets. Uh, we excel on connectivity, fixed as well as mobile. We are one of the biggest pay TV providers in Europe. But probably what you don't know is that already Vodafone is a global leader in IoT. We are Gartner's number one global company in terms of uh, IoT. And also a global leader on cybersecurity. And last but not least, over the last two years, we are, we are helping, have helped and are helping thousands of small and medium enterprises in Europe to digitalize. Because in Europe, this is a big issue. Companies, small enterprises are far behind uh, markets such as the US, and we've played a pivotal role in uh, digitalization of uh, small and medium enterprises. So we're really changing as a business, but for me, 5G comes at this point and will really accelerate the pace of change. So I will talk to you a little bit about 5G, but let's look at the video before we start. What's all the fuss about, right? If you look at any forecasts from any market, from any country in the world, it shows that 5G has the potential to amplify the economic output of any country quite significantly. We're talking about close to $13 trillion added globally. We're talking about, um, in Europe, sorry, we're talking about $5 billion potential in Romania. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of new jobs that can be created. But why is 5G so fundamentally different than any other technology we've rolled out? Because 5G is the technology of technologies, I would say. 5G is the key that unlocks the potential of many other technologies that are coming together, such as AI, such as IoT, such as robotics, 
to name a few. And we're absolutely convinced that 5G will change the way that industries are run. We are changing the way we run the business. So Vodafone will look very different in a few years from now than where we are today in terms of the way we interact with our customers and who are our partners and who are our customers. One example is that our network, which is something we provide to our customers today as a bit of a walled garden. It's, a, it's an integrated, let's say, uh, stack and the consumer pays for access. In the future, actually, we will invite others to come and innovate in our network, the so-called network as a platform. So it's really game-changing. Uh, but to get a better glimpse and a better feel of, of what I'm talking about, I invite you to step forward into the future. Yeah? So let's say we are five years ahead. And I will walk you through a, couple of, uh, a few use cases of how 5G will change the way we live our lives daily. Starting with healthcare. So where is healthcare in the 4G era? Where will healthcare be in the 5G era? So today, we have the capability of connecting customers remotely to doctors for preventive healthcare, for patient monitoring. And we are beginning to use sensors, that more and more sensors that are collecting information, tran transmitting information in real time, which are then stored, processed, and uh, uh, subsequent uh, advice is given to patients. What's healthcare in the, in the 5G era? I'll take a use case. I'm a runner. I like sports. I run a lot. So today, if I get hurt, I, have a, I break my ligament, and I want to have an operation done. What do I do? I go online, I, I speak to friends, I find a good doctor in Romania or abroad. If the doctor is abroad, I have to travel abroad and I have to take the operation abroad. In the 5G era, what will happen is that I will be able to book an appointment with a doctor that resides, let's say, in New York, and I will be in a hospital, let's say, Brasov, and I can have the operation remotely done. That's a fundamentally different uh, view of healthcare. That's real globalization. That gives us the ability to unlock business model and ways of collaboration in healthcare that has not been seen before. And this is just one of the examples uh, in healthcare. Number two, shopping experiences. So today, if I want to go and shop for groceries, I go online. There are very, some pretty good uh, platforms. I can pick and choose products. I can put them in a basket, and then I order, and, the, and then they come. Tomorrow, in the so-called metaverse, which is you know, a, a buzzword of, of the last two years, what will I be able to do? I will be able to shop to have a much more immersive experience when I shop. I.e., I will be able to literally walk into a mega image virtually, pick and choose the products, put them in my basket myself, and then uh, get it collector. So it's a much, much more interactive experience. In the use case that you see in the video, I can even go and uh, virtually visit the potential home I want to buy. Search and rescue, which is a very dear example to us because, as you know, we are collaborating for many years with Salvamont. So today, if we have an incident and Salvamont needs to respond, we usually uh, get drones uh, uh, to fly, scan an area, and start producing pictures of that area and gradually get to triangulate, basically, the location of a, of a person in need. The speed by which the activity can happen in a 5G era is at least 10 times as fast. So they will be able to process 10 times as many images, so 10 times faster. And that, you can understand, completely changes the capabilities of an organization such as Albamont because every second counts when someone is in need. Farming. So what happens today in the farming era, in the 4G era, what happens to farming? In the 5G era, what are the capabilities? So today, farms are beginning to somewhat digitalize themselves. So we see sensors being uh, plugged into the farms, which gives a sense of the weather conditions, the predictions, and give a sense of uh, uh, some basic KPIs, such as irrigation, so, such as uh, uh, medicines that need to be put in the, on the ground, uh, such as potential time frame uh, at which the crop needs to be collected. In the future, what will farming look like? First of all, it's going to be a lot more remote than what it is today. 
because you will have drones that will be surveying the farm, that will generate hundreds of thousands of images and information that will give the, the farmers much more um, information to allow them to plan the crop, to plan irrigation, uh, to plan pesticides, to plan anything that's needed if you like to get the, the, the crop much faster. The, the collection can be done by robots. That's fundamentally changing agriculture. Cars, my favorite example. The so-called self-driving cars. Think about the car experience of today. So if I want to go somewhere, I go into the car, I put my navigation, works pretty well actually because 4G connectivity is enough. Then I drive, yeah, and um, you know, I have to drive first of all. And second, you know, there is, there is very basic information about my journey. I need to check the weather in advance, traffic, I can get pretty good information. But as, the, as I travel and things change, how much more information do I get? Very basic. In the future, with driverless cars, it's not only driverless cars, it's actually cars that exchange information between themselves and continuously allow optimization of routes, optimization of uh, type of driving, which get the us, passengers, much quicker, much faster to our destination. So, I, I wanted to give you a feel of the differences that you will see in how we run our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think we need to work backwards from that, and this is what we're doing at Vodafone, to understand what are the models, what are the businesses that will be created? What is the way that we can support this type of use cases, us as a company, but also through our uh, partners as well as the, our customers? And I can tell you that the, the pace of change and the magnitude of change will be very substantial. But let's bring it all together. So, for me, the key takeaways regarding 5G are the following. Number one, think of 10x, 10 times faster, 10 times quicker, 10 times cheaper, 10 times better. Number two, it will fundamentally change most of the industrial sectors that you are aware of, and therefore, it will fundamentally change your own personal experience. Number three, it opens the door to a whole range of new business opportunities, not only for the large corporates, like us, but also for smaller enterprises to innovate. Why? Because, as I said, a lot of the components of the infrastructure that we offer today as operators to our customers, which are now closed, will be opened up. And it will allow many businesses to develop products directly contacting the customers through our services. It's a very different way of working. Bring that all together, and I think you now understand the potential that this technology has. As I said, we are extremely excited about this. It, we are changing internally, and we are, you will see basically a lot of change from Vodafone as well in this respect. I wanted to thank you for your time, and I hope you're equally excited.